Hi friends, this is MD Vegan. I make a quark today and I have some bananas and cashews and lemons for the quark. Here, my bananas, I have four and whoops, and I have a, maybe a cup of cashews. And the special thing is here, these bananas are dry. Not dry, to be sure. They're different kinds of bananas. They're all the same in the health food shop. You buy bananas, you get always the same banana, but they are different kinds. And some days they are sweet, some days they are a little bit drier. And this one is dry. I had it, and it was so different from the sweet and um, creamy ones I usually had. I thought, well, there's some can make a different recipe probably. And here, my cashews, I thought I could make a quark again. And, um, well, usually I make the quark, I have cherry quark in my recipes. I make it with um, coconut cream, uh, with, no, no, with coconut um, oil or coconut butter, a little bit. But these, um, to get the texture of the quark, but these bananas are so dry, yeah, I don't know how to say otherwise, another, way, another word for it. I just, I thought, it might work together with the cashews. I don't know how many cashews I would need now, but let's see. And the third ingredient here is a mango, uh, is a lemon, because the quark is always a little bit sour usually. Quark is a, a milk product that has been soured a little bit. Uh, and um, the sour I take here with the lemon it's, it's easily. You can also make a, a more um, savory quark. And you put some salt in it or other spices and you combine it with herbs for example or lemon uh, or, or garlic or onion it's very nice also to eat and um, today I have a sweet fruit together with a quark so I don't make it a savory version you don't put salt in it just lemon so let's see what how it works with these um, this ratio with the four bananas large bananas and um, maybe a cup of cash let's see I thought that it was a little bit runny too. And it is too runny, I will taste it, but I definitely need some more cashews for it. Let's see. Mm. But the paper, I was right. So it, you know what? What is not maybe the bananas are dry, but they are a little bit more with fibers. The fibers seem to be stronger there. Maybe it's just a feeling. But now I have some extra cashews here. I put them aside. I thought maybe I will use them. I have to use them. I put some of them in, so it's more than a cup already. Probably have to use yet more, I don't, I don't see. <laughs> I will blend it, let's see. And I have to remember, the cashews will um, soak in the core, in the bananas, and that will take some time, and then it will thicker, be thicker again. But um, it doesn't matter so much. You can soak the cashews before, but then you will need probably more cashews because they are, there's more water in the, in the quark then, but it shouldn't be so much water because the water is out of the, drained out of the quark usually. Now it's like a pork. Mm. Wow. That's a wonderful combination. I'll show you. i show you. I put it into the, my fruit bowl. And there's a perfect breakfast too. It is a fruit quark. And that is a perfect breakfast. You can use, uh, of course, with other greasy, the texture. It will be firmer a little bit. 
yet because the caches will soak up a little bit the water so it makes it firmer but I guess it is perfect so it's more than a cup you need to make it but when you have try a little bit you begin with some less cashews um, according to the, to, to, the, to, the, to the variety of banana you have in hand and how large your bananas are and then you blend it up and you just see as I did other I, I do I have enough cashews or not and then you can add some uh, until the, um, the right amount you reach the right amount. I mean this is a very simple recipe like um, most of my recipes at least the take three recipes my recent invention <laughs> my new trick because with the three ingredients or the method of three that is not only three ingredients but only also units of three because each ingredient can have three ingredients again and then you have more than three ingredients at total but <clears throat> the method of three take three is based on the three ingredient story for each ingredient at least and um, that's 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 that way you have a nice survey every time all the time you know you know what is in the uh, in the food in that mixture you can taste every single ingredient and that's what makes it so easy so you can also estimate the amount of uh, each ingredient uh, when you begin with small amounts because an average you know I know I know I need more bananas than cashews for example so I take less cashews and then I begin with a small amount of cashews and I see, okay, I need some more. That is not so difficult. Yeah? Uh, when I have a recipe with 20 ingredients, as I used to have all the time before, reading the books and so, making them for myself, adapting them and so, had a huge list of ingredients. I had no idea how the quantities were had come together. But this method makes it so easy. Yeah, because, <clears throat> yeah, because I told you. So this is my quark. And on top of the quark, I put the tangerines. Here I have a uh, three tangerines, and they are boy, they are so in season now. They are so delicious. I am very fortunate to find these. You know, you never know what kind of tangerines you find in the shops. This is super delicious. They're a little bit sour, but the sour they have the sour flavor they have is really delicate. It's really nice. Um, and make sure I what I did I peeled the whole tangerine. Then I put, um, uh, take it, took it out of the, to uh, um, separated all the little segments, and then I uh, cut the segments in, in small pieces like this. I didn't take the whole segments because then the flavor will dilute more with the quark, and that is of course more very important. Some I will, I will I'll fold some some in, um, and some I will put on top to make it a little bit nicer decoration. So I have a, a nice uh, filling tender and cork. And uh, the same, put some on top here just to let you know, to show it to you. And some pistachios I put in there too. And pistachios are very nice with tangerines and still have some crunch in the cork. See, just to show you I will decorated my single plate for the photo a little bit differently but in the, this is the um, in general that's the that's the way I would serve it some tangerines in the quark and some on top of to decorate so again the trinity is complete the quark has three ingredients and then together with the quark the tangerine and the pistachios again three and uh, yeah it's a nice little game too by the way and that's playfulness that's most important in the kitchen for me makes so much so much fun so maybe you enjoyed this new kind of of quark maybe you would like to subscribe to MD Vegan on YouTube and have another recipe every single day and probably I would be glad to see you soon on Facebook and my channel or Instagram Pinterest Twitter whatever see you soon